Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your no repeat circuits with weights workout. This is a total body workout using both your dumbbells and your kettlebells to get strength, mobility, and cardio all with no repeats. We'll be working in circuits where we'll go down in time, 40, 30, and 20 second intervals, and each round will have a different variation. As always, I'll give you lots of different options, so work to your level. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's go ahead and just start moving your body, a little march, a little jog, shake everything out. Let's go ahead and get the blood flowing. We'll get that energy up. You can roll those shoulders to the back. We'll get your body's core temperature up, and then we'll get a little bit of mobility work in the movement patterns that we're gonna be working with today, getting everything ready to move before we add those weights. Again, as I said, we're gonna work with dumbbells today. I have a couple sets, my 15 and 10 pound weights, and kettlebells. If you don't have one or the other, just use what you've got. We're gonna be switching it up between circuits and between exercises, so they're pretty interchangeable. You can use whatever you have available to you. I just like to give you options right through here, other side. So again, working in circuits, three quick circuits. We're gonna start with a 40 second interval back to basics. So let's take it flat back down and round it up. So we got back to basics, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Then round two, it's gonna be a different variation on that same exercise. So that's how we get that no repeat. We're gonna be working with similar exercises, but a new variation every time. So it's gonna feel different. Let's open up those arms here to here. Your second round is 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. And that last round, our lightning round, is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So I think you're gonna like it. It's gonna move quickly, as all no repeat workouts do. But at least this, we get a little bit of repetition in a no repeat format, right? So let's roll those hips right through here, and then we can add a little squat to it. You guys know I like to be sneaky about that. We do want to have some repetition in our movement patterns, but we can get that in a lot of different ways. And really at the end of the day, what I'm most interested in is you showing up. So you wanting to show up and move your body. And if that means you stick to all no repeat, Go for it. I could tell you a lot of different ways that, let's take it to that hinge, hands behind the head, drive the hips to the back, right through here looks like this. I could tell you what I think is the quote unquote best way to see results, but at the end of the day, the best workout for you is the one that keeps you showing up. So I know that's why we, a lot of us like no repeats, which is why we have a whole month of it this month. Let's take it here, hands on top of your legs, roll through cat cow. And then if you are able to take those hands down to the ground, soften in these little pedal of the feet. We're gonna walk those hands out, walk those feet back. If you need to be on the knees, you can. Otherwise, we're here a little forward and back for that core. A little drop of the hips, opening up. And then let's take one big step right through here. You can drop that knee down if you want. Big reach to the top. And then if you want, a few little rotations right here, up and down reach and down and then let's switch that you can either step back onto the knees or into that high plank other side again that knee can be down you can just hold the stretch or you can reach through and up right through here walk that foot in round it up all the way through here roll those shoulders let's tap and reach across. All right, so we're gonna get into our circuits in just a second. And again, 40 seconds for that first round, we have a lower body followed by an upper body followed by a core. Then round two, we'll go to 30 second intervals and we will take it a little quicker with both our time, our work interval, and our rest interval. And then we'll have that lightning round. So. You always have the option to stick with the back to basics, the very first thing we do. If you like that repetition, which some people do, either way, the way our intervals are set up, it is going to move quickly. So 
Do what's best for you. I always say be where you are today and work to your level. This is your workout. You do you. All right, so we are starting with your basic squats. For most of these circuits, I'm actually gonna use both my dumbbells and kettlebells. I'm gonna take my medium kettlebell for the squat. You can use one dumbbell, two dumbbells, either have it high or low, but it is your basic squat. We're just gonna sit low, we're gonna drive it up. When we add on, we'll add a little tap in. Right after this, I'll set my kettlebell down. We'll grab some dumbbells for a row. So grab that medium to heavy kettlebell or dumbbells, sit low into that squat, shoulders back, core engaged. Let's do it. Sit low and drive it up. Super basic exercise, just driving up through that squat. If you need to modify, of course, you can do this totally body weight. You can set that weight down. You can do a little tap out, tap in, which is a modification I use a lot for squats or lunges where you don't get as low. Either way, if you're holding the weight wherever you're holding weight, but especially if you got it at the chest, we're gonna make sure that that core is engaged, those elbows are tucked, everything is pulled in, and we're connecting with the core, the glutes, the pelvic floor, right at the top of that movement. Get low, we got five, four, three, two, and one. Set it down to the side. Let's grab medium to heavy weights. I'm gonna go with my 15s. We have your basic bent over row. So shoulders back, core engage. We're bringing it up to here. If you need to, you can stagger or you can support yourself and do one side at a time. Here we go. Bring them up. Now with this row, we want a nice flat back. What I mean is we don't want to round in that low back. If you're seeing the tops of your legs, you may want to readjust. You want to have your eyes out in front. And don't worry about getting these weights up super high. We don't have to really hyperextend there. You can stop just at or past your back. That's gonna really activate those lats, really pulling the shoulder blades in. But one of the few instances where we're not so worried about a whole lot of range of motion, right? So stay engaged. Right here, we got five, four, three, two, one. Set one weight down, medium to heavy. You can go dumbbell or kettlebell. Now I've got some standing core. We're just gonna do a knee cross. You decide how much rotation you want. You can also just keep it body weight, whatever is best for you. Wrap that core, catch your breath. Here we go. So arms obviously are working, but our movement is in our core. So everything's in nice and tight. You don't have to get the knee up super high. You don't have to twist a whole lot, but I want you to engage the core. So it's not just this, right? We're really focused in the center. Rotate right through here. As you can imagine, when we add on, we'll add a little bit more arms with it, but we'll keep that core working. You can go slower than me, you can go faster than me, as long as you have good form. Right here. We got five, four, three, two, one. Set that weight down. All right, we're going back to our squat. Watch me here. We got 30 seconds this time. And we're going to do squat down, tap it in, tap it out, and up. So it's a little side step here. Stay low, tap it in, or you can keep just the regular. But new version, let's do it. Only 30 seconds. Down, in, out, and up. Don't think too hard on this. The idea, one is to make it different for your brain, different for your body, while still getting that same movement pattern. And breathe, and up. Don't come at me and tell me this is repetition. It's different, it's a different move. We got a new variation. I know you won't. Last one, and breathe. Only 30 seconds. This time, guys, with our row, watch me. We're gonna go in, we're gonna go out. We're gonna go in, we're gonna go out. Grab those weights, get in place. Here we go. Up, in, rotate them, out, rotate them in. If that is too heavy for you, you can keep just the regular, or you can do one at a time. Take it up. Remember, it's only 30 seconds. Strong back, recruiting a little bit of different exercises in the back and shoulders. Five, that wide one probably feels a little tougher than it does for me. Three, 
two, one. One weight down. This time for our knee cross. How's that heart rate feeling it, right? We're gonna add a halo. So watch me here. Around your head and then cross. Then back around and cross. Ready, here we go. So halo goes around. You can also do this a kettlebell and cross it. If you don't feel steady, if you don't like bringing that weight behind your head, that's okay. You can just keep your knee cross, right? Just what we did before. If you can, go around, and then whatever side you end up on, cross it the other way. Around, and cross. <sighs> Only one version of this, I know. Three, two, one. We are down to round three. Here we go, team. Here's what we got with our squat. 20 seconds, we're gonna squat, we're gonna transverse pulse. Squat, transverse pulse. The transverse looks like a plie, toes out. You're gonna stay low, pulse it in. It is only 20 seconds, so hang with me. Grab that weight. Here we go. Low, pulse transverse. Pulse regular and out. Of course, if you need to, you can come up out of it, but it's only 20 seconds and we're halfway there, so hang with me for 10 more. Whoo! Weight in those heels, get those glutes burning, along with those quads. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo, all right, team, with our row, we're gonna pulse up, we're gonna pulse out. Pulse up, pulse out. So you're not even bringing them down in between here to here. Let's get that back working. You can also just pulse in the center. In three, two, one. Pulse, out, pulse, in, pulse small range of motion. Yes, you can. Think about the shoulder blades pulling together. Think about those big muscles along your spine, working hard. Posture muscles, three, two, and one. Set those weights down. One dumbbell or kettlebell. I'm gonna go a little lighter because we're gonna get 20 seconds each side. We're adding a little bit more of upper body. No halo, don't worry. 20 seconds, it's that power knee. You can do a press with it, or you can keep it in the center, or you can switch between the two. Here we go, 20 right. Just here, power knee, core engaged, or here. So this is a little more towards the front. You should still feel that core, less twist to the front. 10 seconds, breathe, pull it in. Focus on that core, even though we get a little more upper. Three, two, one. Here we go, other side. If you need to rest those arms for a second, Bring it in here, pull them in. This is it, team. I know, then this first circuit is done. How's that heart rate? I'm feeling it. Woo! Five, four, three, two, and breathe. Set that weight down, team. Oh, man, that is what it looks like. We got two more just like that. The last one's a little shorter. Oh, 160, heart rate is up there. So that's what we got, team little variation with each round to make it different, to make it no repeat, but you always have the option to keep it back to basics. Quick sip of water, two heavy dumbbells or one heavy kettlebell. We're gonna start with a deadlift, then we're gonna get a little swing if you want. All right, team, so dumbbell or kettlebell, we'll start with a deadlift because this preps us for our swing. You can always keep with the deadlift. I'm gonna go with two dumbbells to go a little heavier, then I'm gonna grab my 26 pounder, for my swing. If you've never done the swing, you're not comfortable with it, or you're just not feeling it today, just keep the deadlift both rounds. Here we go, shoulders back. We got 40 seconds with this deadlift. Then we'll go 30 with our swing. In three, two, one. Here we go. Paint the front of your legs with those weights. Take it here. Drive the hips to the back. Remember that cue. You're shutting the car door or shutting the door with your booty. So you're driving it back. It's not just a full forward. It's a drive back. Right through here. And up. Yes. Slow and controlled. Really engage the lats too by imagine you're squeezing those armpits, right? Feels a little weird to think about, but it does help us engage our back all the way through. Last one right here. Yes, team. Set those down. You can keep just that, or you can take it to a swing with a kettlebell, one dumbbell, or two dumbbells. Remember, we're gonna power it up, lock it out, let it drop. Your 
body, your lower body posterior chain is doing the work. Arms are just along for the ride. Start low with that kettlebell in between. Drive it up, lock it out of the top, let it drop. Shoulder blades back, core engage. Prep it, three, two, power. Swing or deadlift, up to you. Either way, we're engaging our glutes, our hamstrings, locking up those quads, that core, squeezing the orange juice out of those oranges underneath our armpits. I know it sounds weird, but it does help us engage those lats and not use those arms. Keep pushing through, lock it out, let it drop. Power up, power up, let it drop. You're stopping the motion at the top and then let it drop. Five, four, three, two, and one. Swing and relax. Team, grab a quick sip of water and then join me. We're going into circuit two. I know. All right, team, watch me here while you're catching your breath. We're starting either dumbbells or kettlebells. I think I'm gonna start with my dumbbells. We're gonna start with a stationary lunge. 40 seconds right, 40 seconds left. Then we've got a bicep curl and press. Then we've got a plank version, so we'll be down on the mat. Then we'll add some variations. It's gonna move quickly, but we're gonna have fun doing it. So I'm gonna start with my heavy weights for my lunge. You can also have one heavy kettlebell. We're gonna take it on the train track stationary lunge or split squat, but core is engaged. Let's do it in three, two, one. Drop it down and bring it up. So this lunge, shoulders back, shoulders packed, as in pulled in, not arching your back. Dropping it low, drive up through the heel. Remember, we can hinge forward a little bit, but we're actually gonna add a hinge on that second round from the low position, which we don't normally do. Breathe, here, and up. Yes, team. Remember, we're feet are hip distance apart. Train track's not tightrope. Get as low as you can. Modification, you can just tap it back. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Set those weights down. Give yourself a little break. Remember, the lower we get, the easier it is for our knees because we get more work from the hamstrings, from the glutes, we get more help. So try to get low, take your time doing it. If you need to just go body weight or drop your weight, that is an option too. Let's get it done, get set. In three, two, one, here we go. And up right here, down, and up. Ooh, balance, right? when I'm at that ankle. My back foot feels off a little bit. Wrap that core. Remember, we're not letting it drop. Here to here. Get low. Oh, heavy weights always get my heart pumping. Remember, heavy weights are gonna get your heart rate up. We got five, four, three, two, one. Set those to the side. Here's what we got, team. One kettlebell, curl and press, or two dumbbells, curl and press. I'm gonna go two dumbbells, you do you. We got the core engaged. We're here, here. Join me here in three, two, one. Up and up. So I'm doing a little version of that Arnold press where I'm curling up regular, rotate it out, but you don't have to do that. You can do hammer, that's coming up. We'll have something a little different. You can stagger your feet like I'm doing. That helps you keep from leaning into that back. Starts to get too heavy, do one at a time. Always an option. Breathe, and here. Take it up, take it up. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, team, drop it down to that plank position. You're on your elbows. If you need to take this standing, you can bring your knees here or you can be down on your knees here. What we've got team is that plank. We're going to do a little hip dip, little hip dip, slow and controlled. We got 40 seconds. So I want you to think first, tuck that pelvis, zip up that core, bring it up with me, hold, find that good position. Here we go. A little hip drop, back to center, a little hip drop. Imagine that you're turning your hip in but you're keeping everything pulled up in it. 
right through here. Again, if you need to be on your knees, you can still get that little hip drop. You're still gonna feel it, right? Or you can just hold here or just hold here. Keep it going, strong core. Bring it up. All the way through, making sure you're breathing. Stay lifted. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch it back. All right, team, watch me here as you're getting up. Dumbbells or kettlebell. Here is our lunge. It's a little tricky, but it's fun. We're going to drop it down. When we're down, we're gonna hinge. We're gonna come up out of it. We're gonna come up out of the lunge. So it's a lunge, a hinge, and then come out. Try to go heavy if you can. It's a little bit of a balance game, so hang with me. You can do it. Nice wide stance. Join me in three, two, one. Here we go. Lunge from the bottom position. Hinge forward towards that knee. Come up out of the hinge and bring it up. What we're not doing is rounding in that back. So it's a small hinge. What you don't wanna do, team, is here, right? So keep those shoulders back. Even if you just go here, that works too. Just think that you're bringing the weights to the ground. Drop the knee, hinge it forward. Feel the difference in that glute, I know. Three, two, one, and relax. Same thing, other side team. So again, really think, hinging forward, but keeping the shoulders pulled back. Core is engaged. Let's get set in three, two, one. Let's do it. Lunge, hinge. If that hinge feels weird at all, you just take it to one or the other. You could do that kickstand deadlift, or you could just do a lunge. Up and up, down. And breathe, yes you can. And up, take it down, hinge it forward. Drive up out of the heel for both. Down, last one. Yes, team. Woo, probably need lighter weights for this one. We're gonna turn our palms out. We're going wide curl, press up and in. Imagine that you're doing a big half circle. Grab those weights. If you got your kettlebell, just take it in the center. Woo, let's take it here. Shoulders are rotated back, squeezing the back muscles. Here we go, up, press it in, bring it down, bring it down. So watch me, here, squeeze in those elbows, and then drop it down. What we're getting is we're getting a little extra pull for that back, right? Squeeze. And here. Up. Up. Don't forget about that core if you need to stagger. Stagger, that's totally fine. Yes. Up. Up. And relax. Nice work, team. Take it back to your plank. Here's what we're gonna add, a little body saw forward and back. We're gonna get those shoulders activated as well as that core, then drop the hips. Watch me here, forward and back, drop the hip. Forward and back. If that bothers your shoulders, you keep the hip drop. But join me here in three, two, one, forward and back, and drop. Remember, if you feel like, I know these no repeat workouts move fast and it feels like you gotta learn a lot of new things, right? But what I want you to think about is that you can always start from that back to basics and then listen to my cues. You could be holding this and then looking up and say, oh, this is what Amy's doing, forward and back. Or just do what you know, right? Three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, this is it, our 22nd round here is what we've got with that lunge. We're gonna do a little crossover. So you're gonna stay half hinge, half lunge, cross it over, tap it in, tap it back, tap it in. Cross it over, tap it in. Stay a little bit forward and a little bit low. It's only 20 seconds each leg, so let's get it done. Then we'll alternate our curl and our press. We'll add on to that. Whew, plank. <laughs> Grab those weights, shoulders back. Let's get set. Starting low, remember we're gonna cross it over and then tap it in. Stay low, hinge forward, here we go. Cross over, tap in, tap back, tap in. Keep that chest low, weights towards the ground. Not rounding in the back. Here we go. 
Already halfway there. You can do it, team. Five seconds. Can you get one more with that cross? Three, two, one. Boom, burner, right? Same thing, other side. We got 20 seconds. Get set, get low, hinge it. Here we go, start with the cross. Cross over, tap in, tap it back, tap in. Remember you're staying a little bit more forward. Half lunge, half hinge. You got it, team. Oh man, five seconds, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Woo! Right, team. Shake it out, right? All right, with the curl and the press, we're gonna reciprocate, right? One and then the other, you're crossing in the middle. If you wanna add a little knee, you can. It's 20 seconds, catch your breath. Here we go, one goes up, up, hammer, cross in the center. You can make it a little more fluid. As long as you have good form, you can feel a little bit more like some power and some core as that knee comes up, right? Woo! Yes, three, two, finish it out. Let's get one more. Boom. All right, stop. Ha, bend your knees to center down. All right, team, this is that plank. You can do just your plank, just your hip dip, forward and back, or we're gonna add a plank press. Up, up, down, down, forward and back, hip drop. Feels like a lot, so we'll probably only get a few, but join me here. Ha. So we're going up, up, down, down, forward and back. Drop the hips. In three, two, one. Here we go, up on your hands, right, left. Down on your elbows, forward and back. Drop the hip. Other side, left, right. Left, right, forward and back, and drop. We're really gonna get those arms working hard. And here, one more. Left, right, left, right. Forward and back, and drop. I know, team. That was a lot. That really should have been our 40 second interval, so we had time to get more in. Woo, 150. Heart rate is up there. All right, team, how about it? Let's get another swing. We're not gonna worry about the deadlift. I'm gonna give you the option if you wanna switch it to a handoff. Swing handoff one at a time. Only if you've done that before you're comfortable with it. Otherwise, keep your regular swing. I know it's no repeat or your regular deadlift. It's up to you. Shoulders back. Catch your breath. Hinge it forward. We're gonna prep it. 30 seconds. Deadlift or swing. Three, two, one. Power it up. Let it drop. And again, if you want, hand it off. Hand it off. Power it up. If you feel like you don't have good form, or certainly if you don't feel stable doing that, just keep your regular. Sometimes that helps us really use the lower body because we can only use the lower when it's heavy between one arm. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pedal those feet, catch your breath. Water team. This is it, last round. And it's a little bit quicker, and it's all on the mat. Join me down here, team. Have your kettlebell and your dumbbells close by. And if you want, team, if you have a mini band, go ahead and grab it. I know I didn't tell you guys about that, but we're gonna do a bridge. You can add a little bit of abduction if you want. We got a bridge lift. We got some triceps. And then we got our little Russian twist. Then we'll add on. We're only going 40 and then 30 for this round. So you're here, you can have those weights here too if you want. I think I'm gonna go for it. And we're gonna go up right here. Here we go. So join me here. You're not pushing out. You are pushing out just a little bit, but you're not doing the full adduction yet. You're just lifting glutes and hamstrings. I know it's hard to do that right after that swing, right? We're here, Woo, yes, breathe, bring it up, take it up, here, drive up and through, ah, 10 seconds, squeeze in that booty, three, two, one, all right team, you can hang out right where you are, two dumbbells or one dumbbell, one kettlebell, we're going tricep 
extension. So if you don't feel comfortable with that, you can do a close grip press, but we're gonna go here, extend it up. Join me here, core is engaged. You can bring those shoulders back just a tad. Movement from the elbows in three, two, one. We're down and we're up. Ooh, my arms are shaky. We got all those push muscles, especially with that plank press, right? But we got a lot of different versions of a press. So we got a lot of upper in this workout. You can keep a little push out with that band if you want to keep the abductors working. Also that core engaged. Down and up. If you need to, you can always alternate or switch to one weight between the two. Remember, you're just flexing and extending through the elbow. We got five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, up to a seated position. It is just your Russian twist. I'm gonna go kettlebell. You can go no weight, you can take it standing, or you can sit up, can't really do it, but you can sit up nice and tall if that's better for you. Twist and twist in three, two, one. Here we go. And here, and up. Right here. Yes, team. Whoo! And breathe. Boom. If you want to lean back a little more, you can. If you want to bring those feet up, you can. Either way, I just want you to stay steady here. Sometimes digging those feet into the ground can help you keep it in that deep core. Right through here. Three, two, one. And relax. All right, team. So this time, with or without your weights, we got 30 seconds up and out. In and down. All right, we are gonna add that little push. Even if you don't have a mini band, you're just gonna press out with those knees. In 30, here we go, or 430, right now. Here we go, up and out, and down. Up and out, and down. And here, yes, glutes, I know. Woo, breathe, ha. And up, five seconds, burner, three, two, one. Set those weights down, take that band off. Here's what we got team, we're gonna go triceps with a leg lower. If that's not right for you, you can just tap them down or you can just keep the tries. 30 seconds, here we go. You could also just do the core, maybe your arms are toast. Mine kinda feel like it, right? Here. I love this combo because we can really focus on core. We get upper, we get a lot of stability work, which is working our core. Breathe. 10 seconds. I know. Whoo. Burn. Ha. Three, two, one. Sit up nice and tall. You can stay seated, you can take it standing. We're gonna do a twist with a press, twist with a press. You can also do this with no weights, but we got 30 seconds, three, two, one. Down, center, push. You can push straight up or you can push out. A little bit of that 45 degree, we get a little bit more of those chest and shoulders. Also those tries that we're just working. Push, twist, push, yes you can. And up. Down. Boom. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, team. Ooh, I told you that was a short circuit. We don't need those 20 seconds, but we could do with another swing. Why not? Up onto your feet, team. Let's get that swing. Last swing right through here. Whatever you want. You can do two handed, you can do handoff, you can do something different. Ski or swing. Either way, let's wrap that core. Shoulders back, hinge it here. Prep it, three, two, one. Power, let it drop. Yes, you can. Yes, all the way up and through. Let's get it done, team. Push into those heels. 
Lock out with those glutes. Connect with that core for five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. Ah, yes, team. Breathe. Grab some water. I know. You know what, team? I think we got time for a bonus move. Why not? <laughs> Here's what we got. How about we get a little gunslinger curl, which most of us love. Take it here, lunge it down, press and curtsy. Back to center. So gunslinger curl, lunge and press, curtsy and twist. All right, we'll get 30 seconds each side. If you're not comfortable with the gunslinger or you've never done it, just do a bicep curl, turn your body. You can pick up those feet or you can pivot. I don't want any knee torque, so whatever feels best for you. You can also do a curl, a lunge, a press without that twist at all. 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. This is it, team. Get set, watch my gunslinger before we start. It's a power move. Then get set with your core, drop it low, press it up, twist. We've done a lot of presses, but let's finish strong. Here we go, 30, sling, lunge, up, curtsy and twist, back to center. Sling, lunge, up, curtsy and twist, back to center. We're not gonna get very many, probably four each side. You can pick, if that just feels like too many parts, just pick one. Down, up, curtsy and twist. Oh, relax. Let's get the same thing, other side. So let's aim for four. Curtsy, lunge, press, no. Gunslinger, lunge, press, curtsy and twist. In three, two, 30 seconds, here we go. Up, woo, balance, up, and here. I did that wrong, let's step in. There's no wrong. Who am I kidding? As long as you're moving, that's all that matters. Step it in. Curtsy and twist. Last one. Right through here. And relax. Yes, team. That truly was one where I feel like my brain was all over the place. So. I wasn't thinking about whew, that my heart rate is way up there, that my muscles are tired, but that I'm feeling that energy, I'm riding that adrenaline, right? Stretch it out. We're gonna get just a couple minutes of stretching, but I know we've been here a while. So let's get you in and out. And just promise me that you'll get some stretching, you'll get some mobility work, some flexibility work on your own. Over to one side. As you calm that breath. Let me know in the comments, I love to hear from you. How did you like a circuit that felt like it had some repetition but didn't feel like it had some repetition, right? Where we get those circuits, which we do, we actually do this circuit variation a lot where we do the 40, 30, 20, and we often do variations, but sometimes we just repeat and that is okay too. But when we wanna move quickly, when we wanna get that brain and muscle confusion, keeping everything from getting bored, and giving you options, that's a fun way to get it done. Stretch right through here. <sighs> Same thing, other side. So leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Do you like this format? Do you wanna see more? Love to hear from you. Leave me a comment, leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and of course, download the Body Fit by Amy app and join us in the Body Fit Athletic Club for all the extras. Let's open those arms here, reach to the back. Ha. Get some more stretching on your own. Be sure to check out all of my mobility and flexibility and active recovery workouts. And of course, join me again to move. Hope you're feeling good. Thank you so much for being here today. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your no repeat circuits with weights workout. Great job, everybody.